It's beginning to look a lot like... You guys know it's coffee. I mean, you have to know that. What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Now by this thumbnail you can see we are talking about tilt on your saddle. And most of the times this um, goes hand in hand with the type of saddle that you're riding. If you've got something like a straight saddle or you do have something that's got some wings at the back. And I'll show you guys what I mean with wings in just a minute. But um, there's a few times that you can apply tilt to your saddle and then there's a bunch of times and reasons that you should rather not apply tilt to your saddle. And in this video I'm going to talk about that. So let's get into this video. Alright, point number one, when you know applying tilt to your saddle has gone horribly wrong. Number one, when you're sliding off your saddle and you feel you need to keep pushing yourself back onto your sitting position, um, well that might be two things. I've made a video on bar stem length, go check it out. Um, so if you're too stretched out on your bike, it might also be pulling you off your, uh, off your saddle and that can be um, getting you to sit, like I said, too stretched out and putting some pressure on your soft tissues. So that's one of the first things to make sure that your bar stem length are correct. And when you've gone to that and you know that that's perfect and you're still sitting on your saddle and you've got some problems on your soft tissue. Now you've dropped your saddle but now it feels like you're sliding off your saddle. Number one, what you've done is you've actually taken the saddle and dropped the nose too far so now you're sliding off. What I'd recommend you do is put the saddle back at its level point especially if you've got a straight saddle like this. I'll talk about a curved saddle just now. But if you've got a straight saddle like this, make sure you put it back to your level position and then drop the whole saddle about 5 to, it can even be a centimeter, I know it sounds crazy and it sounds like quite a lot, but drop it about 5 more and see if the problem um, might be better. If your problem persists and it keeps on hurting you, the saddle, and you've dropped it way down um, to a point where you know your legs are struggling now, then you know the saddle is not right for you. Um, then move to something that might be a wider saddle. I've also made a video on saddles, so go check that out. I'm not going to get into that. But when you've got a saddle and you've dropped the nose and your bar stem is the correct length, but now you feel that you're sliding off your saddle, rather take that thing back to level and drop it about 5 mils and it should sort, or chill, sort out the problem on that. Like I said, if you still have problems with soft tissue pressure points, rather look at your saddle and see maybe get something like this with a, with a um, relief curve in there or relief, um, what do you call it, relief vent and maybe that will sort you out. Now the next point I'm going to talk about is when you should apply tilt to your saddle and what saddle it will be and how the saddle will look. So let's get into that thing. Now what I've had with saddles that's got a curve in it or it's got wings on it, now I'm talking about a curve, a saddle that starts with a nose point, it goes down a little bit and then up towards your wing uh, at, the, uh, at the back. Now, there's two scenarios around this. I've actually had guys that had a saddle with a nose pointing upwards and they say, I'm sitting alright but my legs are killing me. My legs are burning the whole time. Now that might be that your seat is too low and then when you're going to move that thing up that you'll start feeling pressure on the nose, on, on your soft tissues and you'll have to bring that thing back down to level position. So remember that's also one thing you can look at. If your legs are burning like crazy, but you're sitting alright and your seat's like that, <laughs> drop the point of the saddle a little bit and then lift the whole thing up about 5 moles to maybe 1 centimeter and that might sort you out as well, especially on the legs. But in the, just I've never added that I have to put a saddle like that and the legs are perfect to get the guy to sit comfortable on the saddle. Now how do you measure a saddle with a curve in it or wings at the back and so on? You get yourself something, I'm going to use this ruler for example, that you can put onto the biggest touching points on the saddle, like that there. You can use your cell phone, any level app on your phone that shows the degrees and will work perfect. If you've got something like this, but it's a digital one, it will work. I'm just going to use this one for example. And you've got your saddle on level there, you'll see the nose of the saddle is way too high. Now you're going to drop this thing to negative one degree then you should be pretty close to getting the point where you're going to sit on the saddle most of the time to where it should be. 
Now I've read on the forums, I've asked a few guys, and I've asked a few friends and guys, um, what do they think, where, what you, how should your saddle be? And then they just say, make sure it's level. Now, like I said, a saddle can be level, it can be level, sometimes it can be level, and um, in most cases, that's wrong. So, like I said, get yourself something like this, a ruler or a piece of plank or a piece of metal that's wide enough to touch both of the uh, highest points of the saddle there and then the point. And then most of the times, when you put your level on there and you drop it to the point to a negative one degree, then you will have the points where you're sitting most on perfect. So guys, remember, like I said, this is just a short little video. Um, if you look at something like this quickly, now this thing's actually got, it's got a nose that's face downward, get up quite, it gets up quite a lot, it drops down again and then get, gets into your um, wings at the back. Now this is a saddle that you'll definitely have to do the negative one degree drop. You cannot put something down there or see now I'm going to get the nose, because if you're only going to put something down there where you think you'll sit, get that to a level position, then you'll slide off. This thing is one of those saddles that might have a bit of a positive degree on the nose, but the whole sitting point will be um, at a negative one degree or then level. So yeah, it's just a few tips that I've, I'm trying to share with you guys. Like I said, on saddles there's so many different things and varieties and so on, so it's actually quite difficult to make sure where the level of the saddle is. Um, if I'm not seeing someone on the bike, if I've got someone in front of me, we've got them on the trainer and we're doing the setup, then it's actually easy. You can see uh, the hips are tilted forward, the hips are tilted backwards, and that's something that can be with um, how the body type of the person is. I've got hips that's turned backwards. Uh, most of the time, ladies, the hips are turned the other way. So, like I said, two quick things. If your saddle point is dropped, it feels like you're sliding off the saddle, maybe get it back to the point and drop the whole saddle. If you've got your saddle on there and it feels like you're sitting on your soft tissue, it's too high, drop the saddle like I just showed you guys to a negative one degree and um, it should be better. If it still feels like you're sitting on the soft tissue point, maybe drop your saddle in total. But if you get to a point where you feel now I've dropped my saddle too much, my legs are starting to burn, then you start looking at different saddles and maybe different widths of saddle and the length and so on. Like I told you guys, I'm riding a power saddle from Specialized. Very nice saddle, but I had to drop the point or the nose just a little bit and do that negative one degree to get that saddle sitting perfect. So yeah, guys, like I said, it's just a short little video on saddles and what might affect the way you sit on your saddle. And I hope some of these tips will help you. Remember to hit the subscribe button. We are growing like crazy and we're almost to the point where uh, <laughs> we can monetize this channel. So yeah, guys, be strong, stay safe. I'll do some motivation a bit later and then I'll post it as well.